Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, welcome back. I mean, let's just take it all in. Who needs an intro verbally when you have pure eye candy like this? Are you kidding me? All right, now what are we talking about today? Well, we're back with our friends Dirt Cheap Dungeons. Does that sound familiar? It should. If you haven't seen my original Dirt Cheap Dungeons video on their dungeon system, go check that out. The hype is real. Folks, we're back. Now, full disclosure, I was sent these sets for review. Not the dungeon set. I will discuss why that's sitting there in a second. But the castle set, specifically this. The Regent Castle set, as well as several expansion packs, and we are going to take a look at them all. Now, I wanted to talk about the dungeon set a couple reasons. Because, number one, I did incorporate some pieces into this build. And also, number two, just to remind you, that original dungeon review video, that was purchased out of my own pocket. Unlike this, which again, full disclosure, sent to me for review... That first video was all me. Now, not to say that this video is not going to be 100% my honest, unbiased thoughts, but we just got to be, you know, forward about that kind of stuff. But folks, here is what the castle system gives you. It gives you multi-levels. It gives you the crenellations. It gives you curved walls. Are you kidding me? Now, first of all, just take a look at this castle, and I want you to answer one question. Does this look like fun to you? I actually was going to rephrase that and say, what word comes to mind when you see a build like this? If the word is fun, then you and I will get along well, because that is exactly the word that came to my mind as I was putting this together. You know what? I should have done a live or at least recorded putting this together. Obviously, there's a basic guide of how to put doors together, how to use the clips on the walls, but the actual assembly of whatever you want to do, a fortress, a castle, a keep, a citadel, is all you. It's infinitely modular to put this all together. And I, sh I should have recorded putting it together. You would have heard me squeal so many times when things line up so perfectly with uh, these acrylic trays to give it verticality. I'm gonna, I have this phone on a tripod because I'm gonna have to set this down a couple times so we can get inside. Oh, that's right. We're lifting levels off here, folks, to go deep inside the bowels of this castle. There's a lot to see, but I gotta slow it down. Let's back up. What are we looking at here? Well, let me just say this. This is available now. DirtCheapDungeons.com. What are you still watching this video for? Go to the website right now. As of today, they're still having an up to 15% off sale and free U.S. shipping. Because, folks, this was a Kickstarter. Their castle system. They already had the dungeons. Again, go check out my dungeons video. Castle Kickstarter. This isn't one of those videos where I say, you know, coming up on Kickstarter or live now on Kickstarter and then wait a year to get the product. Folks, they ran the Kickstarter. It's done. The stuff is in their shop. You can go pick this up right now. We're talking. They funded with over $70,000 on their Castle Kickstarter, nearly 300 backers. Let's get a top view. Oh, that's right. Believe me, I had fun. I will say there are some accessories in this castle that are not dirt cheap dungeons, but I put them in there to show you how you can dress up how we are in this golden age of pre-painted miniatures and terrain and how all different things can come together and just, you know, harmonize in a beautiful landscape of your own creation, your own imagination. Now, a couple other things I want to call out, which may or may not sway you in favor of going out to get this stuff right now. First of all, it's mostly made in the United States. How often do you hear that? Not that often, especially when it comes to this kind of, you know, product. Also, 
30% recycled material and natural fiber goes into the product itself. You'll see it comes texturized. And because of that kind of recycled material that they use, it also kind of comes pre-colorized. Now you'll notice things like the ladders. Oh, that's right. That's a Dirt Cheap Dungeons ladder. Are a different color. The stone walls are a different color. There are doors of multiple different colors. Folks, they have so many accessory packs. I hope you notice the flags. I hope you absolutely notice the flags. I hope you absolutely notice things like banners on the walls. I There's so much more to see. We'll take a look at all of it. The acrylic levels are gridded. Now look Now look at this. Now, So first of all, and I'll, I'm going to say first of all about 20 times because I'm losing my mind over this stuff. When I wanted to put together this castle, I had a couple goals. Now, first, I was just going to build the castle directly on this gridless mat. But then I thought, you know what? Because, you know, some people play gridless, and I do a lot of times. I wanted to show how you don't have to use this stuff on a grid. But, you know, why not? I had this two-by-two two kind of stone textured mat that was gridded. And it all stays so perfectly on this grid. And then when you go up the levels, the acrylic floors are gridded. This is just one big playground. This is one large miniature playground, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, a couple things. So I kind of hinted at the fact that, yes, it does come pre-textured, like textured, pre colorized That doesn't mean it's not amazingly customizable. So you can absolutely paint this, dry brush this, give it a wash. They even mention using markers, permanent markers on some of the details, especially like the doors. Let's see if I can get over there. Where you can see hinges and you can see the where the little nails and wood and stuff are. If you wanna bring that out, in fact, I think in this, little sheet here. I have my notes all ready to go. All right, here we go. So you can, they were even recommend doing things like this. Oh, for absolutely sure. Um, and it even mentions that it is resistant to things like isopropyl alcohol and acetone, not on the acrylic platforms, but on the other pieces. So if you make a mistake, it's easy to remove that. Unlike they, you know, Mention other manufacturers, which may melt the plastic if you use that kind of stuff. But isn't that absolutely insane? So I think that was most of the stuff I wanted to go over before we start looking at details. But also they mention it cuts, dremels, drill through it. You can do whatever you want to this stuff because of the material it's made out of. It'll take it all well. It'll cut well and everything like that. Okay. Let's get right down to it. I want to start taking levels off here. Okay, are you ready? So, obviously, first things first, look at this palisade. That Okay, that was something else that they just introduced with this as well, were these palisades. I mean, are you kidding me? With doors, and I should say, the do all the doors are fully functional. Do you like my little moat here? This paper that I cut that moat, abbreviated moat, out of came in the box. It was paper that was separating the acrylic platforms. This shade of blue is just gorgeous. So I cut just a little moat so you could take a look at the bridge gridded. Folks, it's all gridded. Anyway, back to the Palisades with the working doors, by the way, that comes with the Regent Castle set. Look at this. This goes on for miles. Are you kidding me? All around on both sides and even another little entrance over there. Oh my gosh, are that bar barbarians at the gate, folks? Anyways, just <laughs> believe me, I had way too much fun. Okay, so that was something else that was introduced with the castle Kickstarter. I did a very basic, just kind of a all around the entire thing fence. You could use these for bandit forts. You could do little watch posts. You could do a lot more of a complex interpalisade complex with those kind of things. Again, the ladders clip right onto the walls with one of my goals here was to 
use up all the acrylic levels, go as high as I could. Look at this gatehouse. Is that gatehouse not freaking fantastic? Entry level down below, then another floor, then another floor, then up top here, got some boiling oil from Miniature Building Authority. Look, all the way down without the glare all the way down folks are you kidding me okay so how what do we have here with this now the, again this is the regent's castle the region is kind of a at least my region he's a little boisterous he is very prideful he set this up himself now he has a couple watchtowers on either side here there is a door i believe on this side and then oh yes absolutely stairs why don't we just take this off so here's how easy it is to just lift off a level oh first thing i'm going to get now that i have this is more of these acrylic platforms absolutely need them notice the ladder goes up here i'm gonna put this back for just a sec because what I'd like is another one of more of these size, because then I'll put another one across the top there. So when the, you know, soldiers go up the ladder, here are the crenellations, and then they would be standing here, you know, being able to look at just like they are here. I have the crenellations on an acrylic platform. Unfortunately, I just ran out of acrylic platforms. Otherwise, there would absolutely be one there. And of course, I would want to have one here. And then, yeah, when you take all this off, you get access to all the floors. There are some stairs. Notice there are gaps. So you can do something like this. Oh, my gosh. Up and down the stairs. Where are they at on the stairs? Boom, a figure fits right in there. Isn't that just absolutely incredible? Okay, so that is just one watchtower. What else do we have? Okay, so we have the gatehouse. I didn't do too much down there, but we can lift this off. Oh my gosh, is this going to lift off? Okay, oh, lifted that entire thing off. Here's the entry level again. I went, I used all the ladders, double doors, front and back, ladder up to the next level. And then that level has a ladder as well up to the next level. And so there's, accessibility every level you go and then over here we have the barracks i went from a squared off base up to more of a curved base and look at the bunk beds ladder up to the top double door entry this watchtower over here has a door that goes in here i just did a, a round tower from base to top with doors on this side and around on the other side because this is the mess hall. This is the galley. This is uh, basically where the banquet hall. So the kitchen would probably be on the lower level. I just put a bench and a, a table up top there. But yeah, right in the center of it all, a couple doors to access it. So no matter where in the castle you are, it's easy to get to. And then we have a couple other exciting things. Of course, some non-dirt cheap dungeons accessories like a well and a blacksmith. And over here you have the practice dummies and some uh, target practice for the archers and crossbows. And then you have one of my favorite things of all time. What is that? I'm doing this one-handed. I know I said I was going to put the thing down, but I think I can do it one-handed. Jail cells. Are you kidding me? Here is the dungeon. Of course, this could be subterranean, but I decided to do it on level one. Door into the dungeon. Again, all these doors open. I think I said that, but let me prove it. So, boom. And these are some of the most easy to use doors and i'm talking even the cell doors open and it's one of those things where it's like are you it's not one of those doors that's hard to use now because you you clip these together and they are some of the smoothest operating doors that you'll ever find and they open both ways but three cells down below there and then wait till you see this this is maybe a little macabre but i had to do it next level up is the torture chamber. That's right. So if the if one of the guards pulls you out of the cell and says, let's go upstairs, oh, that's not a good thing. And then up these stairs is the warden's office. So yeah, you don't you if, <laughs> if you survive the second level, 
normally dungeons get worse as you go down, right? But if they tell you to keep going upstairs, oh, folks, you don't want to know what happens in the warden's office. All right, and then you have the keep. The, uh, the regent himself is in this keep. And you can see that he has smiths working on it just night and day to make it the most gorgeous thing that you've ever seen. So again, I have double doors there in front. Oh, can I lift this huge one off with one hand? Eek. Oh my gosh. These acrylic platforms. Look at this. I lifted this entire thing off one handed and I'm, oh, don't fall. I'm shaking it. Now I don't recommend doing that, but just to show you how sturdy they are inside. Boom. There's the region himself. Look at the wall decor. Look at the banner in the back. Look at the swords and shields. That is all from a pack of wall decor and flags. And then, yes, there's a spiral staircase pack. Are you kidding me? Let me see if I can now put this back one-handed. I'm kind of a stickler for making sure things are aligned. So I want the walls, I want the corners, I want it all aligned on that grid, and, th and this stuff is so quality. Folks, this stuff is so quality, it maintains that grid throughout the entire thing. Look at this, look at this. Does that not look absolutely gorgeous? So then, yeah, you go up that spiral staircase, look at this. Oh my gosh. That, I have an, another spiral staircase there. Okay, let me take this off. So you can see the continuity. The spiral staircase starts on level one. Look at that. Oh, it's seamless up to the next spiral staircase. So on this floor is the regent's bedroom, of course, and maybe a little bodyguard shack or something in there. And then, oh, that's right. You go up the spiral staircase up to this tower. And then again, similar situation. I have stairs here. I would like another acrylic platform to go across the top of this so that, you know, you could actually have guards standing up here. But folks, I mean, come on. Here is an example of what you can do with the Regent set, Regent Castle system. There it is. Look at that. Is that not just absolutely gorgeous? Again, 30% recycled materials. There's their website and email address. Folks, I am just blown away. Oh my gosh, we have it. Uh, we'll get to this little nugget in a second. But are you kidding me? This is absolutely insane. So, originally I was like, well, I could just do a Regent Castle build. Show you what you can do with the Regent Castle. But they already have pictures on the website. There's a picture on the back of the box. I wanted to do a little bit more. So here is the Regent Castle, plus a few pieces of my Legend set. You could probably get by with less than a Legend set. But uh, I was just picking pieces out of it. So what pieces did I need the most out of the Legend set? windowless walls and that when i go back to the goals that i had for building this i wanted the whole first floor of walls around the castle to be windowless i really did not want windows on the first floor so there's windows on the second floor and the third floor and whatnot so i needed more windowless walls which is great so i mean okay take a look at this you tell me which pieces are from the castle set which pieces are from the dungeon set Apart from the crenellations, probably, in the window walls. I'm talking, which are these pieces are from the dungeon set? No, you can't tell me. You can't distinguish the two. That's where the, you know, expandability comes in. You get one set, great. Grow your collection. Ask for more on your birthday. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. Even if someone got you accidentally two of the same set. Oh, thank heavens. Are you kidding me? I wish someone would get me two of the same set. You, Every single piece is necessary. So again, what did I use a lot of? These straight connectors. Oh my gosh. Because of course, first of all, for the curved walls, you need all those straight connectors. And then crenellations on top of it. Of course, you don't have to use connectors. In I just love them. I love them because it just keeps everything nice and straight. And if you bump the table, 
Maybe some of your accessories will fall over, but this castle's not going anywhere. Oh my god, well, except for the flag. But our, it's like, that is absolutely insane. I just am blown away by how just fantastic this looks. So folks, that is, oh, not everything. Because I wanted to show off this mini set. So again, there were a lot of different sets. This one's the Magic Mini Ruin set, but again, they had the Staircase set, Palisade set, the Jail Cells, the Stone Bridges, the Stone Arches on the Bridges, Castle Decor, all that stuff plugs into the window walls. Platform Clips, if you have more of those, I assume just more of these acrylic things you wanted to connect multiples together, or if you wanted to use some of these bridge acrylic pieces together i'm still like investigating the best way to use those but oh my gosh so back over here magic mini ruins set look at this again all the doors open i love the idea of and because of the clips look what i can do i can move this entire thing around now and that's with not even all of this being clipped. I ran out of just actual corner clips. I could have I had more tees and stuff, but I didn't want something sticking out on the edge. But even with those two corners not clipped, look at this. And again, all the doors open. But I love the idea of like this r magic mystic ruins. And then you know what? It isn't always here, which is the scary thing. Sometimes it disappears. It only appears. I haven't figured out exactly what triggers it to appear. Thank gosh it's still here while I'm recording this. So I actually captured this on film or on video. <laughs> Anyways, before I get lost in my fantasies, one more look. I mean, come on. Check out dirtcheapdungeons.com. For pricing info, I don't want to misquote anything. Kickstarter pricing is different from retail pricing, which is different from the current holiday sale going on now. Check it out because, I mean, treat yourself. And also get one of their Dirt Cheap Dungeons tote bags. First of all, look at this. So again, their sets come with these handles. I know this video is going on forever. That's a sign that I absolutely love something when I am spending this long on it and I can't stop finding more things to talk about. So here's an example of some pieces that I didn't use. A couple smaller curved palisade pieces. Oh, the packaging. Oh my gosh, why did I open this box? I'm going to lose my mind because look at the packaging. Of even the little boxes of clips have the Dirt Cheap Dungeons logo on these adorable little plastic containers. Cardboard spacings, trays, lift out. Look at that. Look at the different doors. Look at all the crenellations. I would have loved to do something. You know what? If they ever come out with like a vertical clip that would clip these together, that would be amazing. It could be, because obviously there's nothing here. You probably really can't balance this with any sincerity on the top of there. But... Uh, yeah, if they had some, so I could like crinolize the tops of these. I don't know if that's even a word, but anyway, so that's an example of how many pieces were left over after I built this, which again was a lot of the base was from the dungeon set. But again, we took a peek already at what a region set can build you. But I mean, are you kidding me? So the packaging was where I was going with this because I wanted to say these have handles. This whole thing, not even all of this, I mean, this whole thing packs into these two boxes with handles. Boom. You pop that down at your convention if we're ever allowed to have those again. Or, you know, a game night. It just, it stores so nicely. The, it saves so much space. It saves so much money. It, I could, it's just unbelievable. Folks, I need to stop now because I could go on for another 24 minutes. Dirt cheap dungeons, dungeon sets, castle sets. This stuff is quality. No warped pieces. There's so many things that I want to say that are like coming to my mind as this thing keeps going because it's about the things, you know, you focus on problems. You remember problems, problems stand out to you. 
seamless convenience beauty doesn't like like in your mind when you are building with other cheaper manufacturers pieces sometimes they're warped you know the thing where you have to sometimes stick a plastic component in boiling water and then stick it in ice water and reshape it this not a single piece here did i have to reshape it is perfect i just can't go on and, and again yes i was given this set this set to review but i was not given this set and that set that i purchased i have a video up go check that video see if my emotions are as keyed up as they are in this video the answer spoiler is yes because it just got better something that was already amazing just got better with variety oh take a step back take it all in this is it folks i wanted to get i just got this in the mail today gotta get this set up got a video taken because there's still time to holiday shop you have a geek in your life who would absolutely lose it to find a box like this under the Christmas tree or even an accessory pack. This, this magic ruin set fit is, it came in this box. This could fit into a stocking and they would have a magic ruin set. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, go get this. Go get that for someone you know and put it in their stocking or a secret Santa thing. There's still time. Treat yourself. I know I was talking about a duffel tote bag earlier. They sell apparel. Go get a hoodie. Go get a duffel bag, a tote bag, because it'll fit these boxes in there. And then you can carry them over your shoulder. Anyway, we got to stop. Folks, thank you so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.